Hi S1s, it's Mrs Duckett. Welcome to your first lesson on the blues. Listen carefully and take notes as you go. This presentation lasts about 10 minutes. When you have finished the presentation, test your understanding of the blues by taking the quiz. Here are your learning intentions. In this lesson, you will learn to understand and describe the main musical characteristics of blues music and you will learn to understand how lyrics are constructed in blues music. Listen to this example of blues music and on your notepads write down your thoughts on the following questions. What instruments can you hear? What is the speed of the music? How would you describe the mood and character of the music? And what do you think is interesting about this music? Bunch of blues, huh? <laughs> music originates from the work songs of enslaved African people who were forced to work on plantations in the southern American states for about 400 years during the transatlantic slave trade which was the 16th to the 19th century. The music was a distraction from the boredom and the suffering of hard labour and different chants developed for different chores. Singing was extremely important to enslaved people as it was one of the few pleasures they could enjoy, requiring nothing but their own voice. Work songs, sung in groups, provided blues with one of its most distinctive elements, call and response. Write down your thoughts. What sort of topics do you think the enslaved people might have sung about in their songs? Blues music, a style. The blues, is a type of American music that became popular in the early 1900s. It is heavily influenced by the African-American history you have just heard about. Blues is closely related to jazz. Singing plays the key role in many songs. Rather than simply telling a story, blues singers express their feelings. These feelings are often sad. Often, the blues singer sings the first part of a line of music. The instruments then repeat or answer the part the singer sang. This is called call and response. Blues performers make up parts of the music on the spot while performing it. This is known as improvisation. Characteristics of the blues. What are the key musical features of blues music? A three line verse structure with the first line repeated. A, A, B. Improvisation. Most songs have four beats in a bar. Blue notes, based on the 12 bar blues progression. What do you think the words written in bold and blue mean? Listen to this song recorded by Bessie Smith almost a hundred years ago called St. Louis Blues. What is Bessie Smith singing about? 
What happens between each line of the song? And what do you think makes a good blues singer? instruments in traditional blues music but nowadays blues music can really be played on any instrument look at the pictures in the top left hand corner we have a trumpet with a mute stuck in its bell this mute gives the trumpet a really distinctive thin tinny sound moving clockwise we have a drum kit and then a double bass played by plucking the strings we have a saxophone and then a harmonica. And you heard the harmonica on the first example of blues music in this presentation. And finally, we have the guitar. And blues music can be played on an acoustic or an electric guitar. And it's quite common for guitarists who are playing blues to have a glass pipe or a copper pipe on their fingers so they can slide up and down the fretboard. It's time to sum up this lesson. In the middle of your page, please write blues and round the outside answer these questions. Where did blues music originate? State three features of the blues. What sort of things did blues singers sing about? And name some typical blues instruments. See if you can answer those from memory and when you've finished, complete the quiz. Thank you.